Greetings and salutations, viewers. It is I, Cybertron Max, coming to you with a new Transformers review. Well, I originally had planned on doing a side con side by side comparison of these two figures, and decided not to, so I customized one of them. Well, modified it. I'm doing it on modified or customized Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. Now we all know that this, the the preview Bumblebee figure that came out had the cannon arm. Well. I did some transformations and some alterations and some moving thing, moving from column A to column B and screwing over column C. Um, so, let's go on with the review of this. Uh, this is the 2010 Camaro Edition Bumblebee. As you can see, it has the nice big old grill here. Uh, more headlights here compared to the original. Uh, really nice detail, really nice new paint job, wider racing stripes through the top, uh, more enhanced uh, hood space. Overall, really nice. Same design, same transformation as the original, but a few other nice details. So let's go on with the transformation. So what you want to do is open the doors. And if this car is rocking, don't come and knock it. Uh, lift this up. Now, underneath, I'm going to show you that you notice I have the cannon from the first Bumblebee here, and you'll see why. Uh, going ahead and taking, moving the arms and this over, sliding these out. Now, if you have the first figure, this is actually my first time reviewing the uh, movie Bumblebees. Bumblebees. Bumblebee figures. Uh, I'm just not going to go through actual step-by-step -step transformations. I'm just going to go ahead transform them rather quickly on camera so you can watch and enjoy with my little trans little little alterations. Not major alterations, but you know, just enough to you know, I asked and someone told me, "Yes, this is a custom now." Because I did some transformation to it. Now, if we can only get the head stuff to fold down. Oh, there we go. Alright. Move this back up. Now, I really like doing these quick little things. And here is the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee with some uh, customization. As you can tell, that the arms... Are a little darker than the first. This always pops off. The first movie Bumblebee, be because um, I went ahead and took the arms off of my first Bumblebee and switched them out with this one. I didn't really like the one cannon arm, so that's why I took and uh, did that. You know, he still hold. You know, he has the cannon that he comes with for the first one. But I, I like this look overall. I mean, he has the two hands, and he's not always armed. Now, the cannon will fit into the spot here from the first Bumblebee into this because it's the exact same leg mold. The only thing that's different is a little bit retooling in the front and in the uh, uh, feet, some di different things. Um, arms are re different. And the head has been retooled into a more movie-accurate movie head, which I really like. Overall, this is a, you know, this is a custom figure. I customized it the way I like it. It works for me. Um, you can really do it real simple, and it will work. No, no buying epoxies and stuff like that. Just a simple switching in the arms, and you get a really nice custom figure. Uh, I do recommend you getting the Bumblebee. Uh, the, the Bumblebee I got, I got from my friend, Hot Rod G1. Uh... He got me to sound wave in the Cannon Bumblebee. But then I really like doing this. I saw some other people doing it. And I'm like, you know what? I can do that. And I did it. And it works. So I recommend you getting the Bumblebee figure. And if you have the original 2007 Bumblebee, go ahead and switch the arms out. It doesn't affect transformation whatsoever. But it's a really nice nice uh, little thing. Uh, so, yeah. 
Uh, there's something else I want to do. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my good friend Tommy Tuwimey. He just got married. He's back. Uh, he's put up a couple of videos. Um, link's going to be over in the sidebar to his channel. Go subscribe to him. He just needs 20 more to reach 300. So let's get him to 300. Um, I myself, I'm now sitting at 528. I'd like to thank every one of my subscribers. Look for my 500 subscriber video coming soon. Um, this is Cybertron X. Till all are one, farewell.